What's going on guys? Welcome to this episode of the pickups. Haven't rocked the old Rebel Gaming Club shirt in a while. Uh, it's at the bottom of my drawer underneath my work shirts, but uh, Dan, Ryan, Jordan, Nick, all you guys, uh, love you guys, thinking of you, and uh, supporting you guys. So, garage sales are upon us. Uh, stopped at a garage sale on my way home from work, and uh, for three bucks we got all this stuff. We got this uh, nice condition Hot Wheel. Not sure what it is. They just kind of threw that in as a bonus. We got uh, these like Pokemon. These are like kids readers from like Scholastic books. Uh, Pokemon Junior Handbook, Beginner's Handbook, a couple uh, Pokemon Juniors, number seven, number 15, Battle Frontier, and Pokemon Top 10 Handbook. So we'll get 10 bucks out of those, more than pays for the day. Saw this, I was like, how much you want for that? This is kind of thrown in. It is a, an 11 inch tall Inspector Gadget. This is the Matthew Broderick, Broderick uh, Inspector Gadget from like the mid 90s. And uh, still goes for about 20 bucks, so we'll throw that up, see if we can get rid of that. But I think I think we're gonna make our money back in a little bit on the uh, the Pokemon sales. It doesn't even fit on the shelf, so I don't want it. Hit a couple thrift stores, sometimes not, well not sometimes, but nowadays you're paying the Mario tax. So $4.99. For a copy of New Super Mario Bros. 2, which I do pretty well on these. Um, you know, they'll, they'll either trade into GameStop a couple times a year for like 16 bucks cash, or I'll just sell them with the uh, the case and manual. I got plenty of the cases and manual. We'll get 20 bucks for that, so not a bad score there. They had a bunch of video games in their uh, glass case, and I saw this. Make sure you always check out the, uh, the CD cases, and it was filled with Xbox 360 games, so we got... Uh, Gears of War, Gears of War 2, interesting shooting style right here. Uh, Sniper, Dragon Age, and then we got a whole bunch of Maddens and all that stuff. In the back, however, was this game right here. If you ever see this one out in the wild, make sure you pick it up. It is College Hoops, NCAA College Hoops uh, 2K8 with the Ohio State player on it. Goes for a little bit of money. There's a couple eBay sellers that have this up for $99.99, so 100 bucks for this game. I immediately went on eBay right after I left the uh, the thrift store, ordered the case and manual, so I'll be posting that for sale tonight. So nice condition there. Not bad for a couple thrift score finds. Oh, that was six bucks for all of them. So some of those games will trade into GameStop for 60 cents or 30 cents. I'm just gonna take them and trade them in and uh, that'll sort of eat the cost of the the six dollars but this is where the show's at right there that's all going to be profit so i'm on my way to work this happened like two nights ago actually uh i was kind of browsing around i always check the toy section and lo and behold we found one of these these are it's a lego lap tray so little kids can you know use this and sit on their lap and sit on a couch or a car it's got two 16 by 32 base plates that slide in towards the middle and then we've got storage there and they can build on that and it has a handle got that for five bucks now looking at comps online comparables uh, the red ones sell for like 20 or 25 bucks and I actually didn't see a blue one on there so I have to do a little bit more research if this is a more rare color I'll definitely put it up for more money because Lego buyers are absolutely insane and they will buy almost anything with Lego on it I did double check to make sure that this was an actual Lego product. So yeah, make sure you do that. It's not a knockoff. So we got one more thrift store pickup. We went to a Goodwill. They had a bunch of games, but they were all kind of scratched and just in really crappy condition. They had one game, <laughs> the orange box for 360 for 299. That wasn't beat to hell. And it is complete. Always good for about 15 bucks on the orange box. But I think my son's gonna play it because he's been wanting to play Portal. So that's awesome. Stop by a pawn shop. I had a, you know, one of them 15 game NES holders. And um, it, it wasn't full. I want to say there was maybe eight games in there, nine games in there. And I said, how much do you want for everything? He was like, how about 40 bucks? I said, ah, it's okay. It was like, um, you know, F-117 Strike Eagle, Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy, Mario 3. It just wasn't there. The money wasn't there, you know. When the deal's not right, you got to walk away, have a little discipline. But I asked him, I said, how much do you want for like individual games? So I pulled some out and he said, how about $3.50 each? No problem. So for $3.50 each, we got uh, 1942, which I did not have in the collection. I'm pretty sure I don't have it. I got that in 1943. It's got the manual. 
We got the hunt for Red October with the manual. And then we've got uh, Star Wars. Happy to have Star Wars with the uh, with the manual. So for $3.50, they all come with the manual. Thought that was a good buy there. So I'm standing there talking to the guy, and he's like, I asked him if they have any more, you know, in the back. He said, no, we got Xbox 360 games over there. And I said, eh, they were a little bit expensive. The lady told me that they were $10 each, and I'm not paying $10 for 360 games. And he looked at me, and he goes, no, they're like a dollar or two dollars. You just pick them out and tell me what you want. So we go over there. We got these for a dollar a piece. So a dollar a piece. I bought them out of PlayStation 3 games that weren't sports games. We got uh, Godfather 2, Medal of Honor, Dead Island. Now some of these cases are a little chewed up. We got uh, Uncharted 3, Defiance, two copies of Assassin's Creed 3, Michael Jackson The Experience, which I'll throw that one online. We got another copy of uh, Uncharted 3. Uh, for the 360, we got Dante's Inferno. I heard a lot of good things about this game. Never played it, missing the manual. So, uh, yeah, dollar. We got uh, Duke Nukem Forever. It's got a receipt on there. Well, let me take care. Of, let me take care of my light work. Get that out of there. So, uh, Duke Nukem Forever. We got uh, Resident Evil 6, which is awesome because this comes with both discs. So that's awesome. And then probably the two best games in the lot. We got uh, Red Dead, Undead Nightmare, and uh, Deadpool. So that's a good seller right there. Deadpool is always a good seller. If you can get them cheap, disc is all right. And I think Undead came with, uh, yeah, it comes with the map. So that was that's pretty cool. Looks like it's got the manual and the Grand Theft Auto flyer. So that one is super complete. Let me check the disc on that one mint not a scratch on it somebody opened it never played it stopped at uh, half price books it's kind of on the way it's not really on the way it's like three or four minutes out of the way but you always got to go there looking through their xbox uh, original xbox games they spot this one star wars battlefront 2 how much do they want for it five bucks so not going to turn down battlefront battlefront 2 you know on the xbox the disc is scratched, so I'm going to take that over to Forever Games and have them uh, buff it out for me. I was just talking to my son. My son went with me today. I was just talking about this game in the car and uh, found it at Half Price Books for 20 bucks. It is Ghost in the Shell, the standalone complex. Nice mint copy complete. So what I plan on doing is you can still get sometimes 20 25 bucks for Battlefront 2. I'm gonna try and get 25 bucks for that and that will pay for these and I will get standalone complex essentially for free, which is nice. So, yeah, so this is sort of a weird story. Uh, I'm sitting in the game room, I'm cleaning games, posting stuff online, all that stuff, and I just get a text out of the blue. It's like, hey, this is Mark, I sold you a Nintendo game back in the day. Well, this is the guy that sold me uh, Kiwi Craze for 40 bucks. Uh, last year or maybe a year and a half ago he had a lot of Intellivision games and this was the only Nintendo game in there so he was nice enough to sell me that one for 40 bucks which is a great deal but he's like yeah my sister wants to get rid of all her stuff uh, you know she's got Nintendo blah blah blah, blah. So I said well, well send me a picture of what you got and I'll let you know if I'm interested so he sends me his picture and it's a box it's got about 50 games in it now, there's some decent titles in there battle toads mario 3 you know zelda game that kind of stuff but there's also a lot of filler you know what i mean like tiger heli wheel of fortune you know jeopardy rbi baseball that kind of stuff uh you know nfl games whatever so i said uh, well what does she want for everything like that box of games what does she want for the whole lot and he goes well i'll have to i'll have to look them up and i'm going just I'm thinking maybe I can get them for a buck or two a piece, you know, if I buy a bulk. So I'm like, okay, man, whatever. So he gives me a call or a text a couple days later, and he's like, yeah, we found consoles and a miracle piano in the box and, and all that stuff. Uh, Sega Genesis, Atari, and television. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Like, what, what do you want for everything? Like, if I were just to buy everything. And I'm thinking, like, you know, I'm going to buy it big lot and I'm going to get it cheap. He's like, well, I'm kind of totaling everything out, and it uh, looks like it comes up to like $1,500. And I'm like, there's no way 
that I'm paying $1,500. I'm like, listen, man, there's really only like 10 or 12 things in this box that I want. The rest of it I would be buying to resell to make my money back. So I would want to get this like super cheap, right? So, you know, and he, he's kind of telling me, you know, he gets, you know, sell on eBay and this and that. And I, I'm thinking, I'm trying to explain to him. I'm like, he's a real nice guy. So I don't, want to, I don't mean to cut him down or anything, but you know, if it's $1,500 worth of stuff, nobody's doing startup collections anymore. There's not one guy out there that's like, I'm gonna spend 1,500 bucks and buy a huge lot of Nintendo games. That just doesn't exist anymore um, in the era of emulators and, you know, Nintendo stores and all that stuff. Really somebody that's buying that for 1,500 bucks is gonna wanna get it for 500 bucks, max. Because they're gonna wanna keep some stuff, then they gotta clean it, list it, sell it. Uh, you're gonna get more out of it individually than you would, you know, in a lot. Um, everything was, you know, the, the Miracle Piano uh, was awesome to see it in the box. The box was having some water damage. But again, you can't justify spending $1,500. You know, I'm, if I wanted to pay retail for that stuff, I would get it off eBay, have it delivered to my front door. And if it was defective or I didn't like it or it broke next week, I would just send it back and get my money back. Once you buy something on Craigslist or OfferUp or LetGo or Macari or any of these sites, I'm taking the risk as a buyer. So I'm definitely not going to take a bunch of Nintendo stuff at re retail cost risk. I mean, there's just nobody in the world anymore that's going to do that, especially if it totals out to be 1500 bucks. Why would I pay you exactly what it's worth? You know what I mean? Like nobody, nobody does that anymore. But I was like, I'll, I still want to see it. You know, if you've got the games, I might be interested in a couple games. So we met up and um, you know, I'm picking out this game and that game. He's like, oh, 20 bucks for that game. Uh, Return of the Joker, 20 bucks. Uh, how about Danny Sullivan, Indie Heat? Oh yeah, that's 20 bucks. How much you want for Battletoad? Yeah, that one's 20 bucks. I'm like, okay. So he had a bunch of boxes and manuals. I said, what do you want for the boxes and the manuals? He said, uh, I, I don't know. You know, I don't know what they're worth. How about five bucks each? So, okay. So we spent $80 total. We got these boxes and manuals and stuff. And we got a uh, kind of a rare Nintendo game, which I'm happy to add to the collection. So I'll just start with the uh, the boxes and manuals for five bucks. We got the box for Mega Man 4, so that's exciting. We got the box for Excite Bike. I'm happy to have this, I really am. I thought that I had the manual for this so I could make it complete. I do not have the manual for Excite Bike, which I was bummed out about, but I'm sure I can find one at a convention. We got the manual for DuckTales and the box for DuckTales. So pretty excited about that have my uh, complete copy of DuckTales now. It will never come out of there because I have an emulator. And then very excited to get this, five bucks each, so 10 bucks. We got the manual and the box for Battletoads. Very nice condition. So again, like I said, I'm very happy to have that. He did have the, uh, the Indiana Jones, Young Indiana Jones Chronicles. He wanted 60 bucks for that. He also wanted $60 for this game, but uh, he gave me a $10 discount, which was nice. But we got a copy of Shatterhand, very nice condition. I did open it up and verify the board. That's the other thing about buying games in bulk like that. Yeah, there may be a couple games like this in there and it may not be the person that's trying to sell it their fault. They may have bought it from a store or bought it off of, you know, offer up or something. And they actually inadvertently bought a bootleg copy or a fake copy. So it's like, you know, again, I'm taking all the risk if I buy all that, but very happy to have a copy of Shatterhand into the into the collection. Uh, people tell me it's a good game, so can't wait to give it a try. Actually had one of these hard plastic cases, so there we go. All right, guys, that is gonna do it. Thank you so much for joining me today and checking out my pickups. Let me know what you've been picking up. Leave a comment down below. And as always, guys, we will see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves.